Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set says that 12 prime numbers that form 6 pairs each summing to 100 are to be arranged in a 3 cross 4 grid which is 3 rows and 4 columns and the conditions are given to us. Okay, so it has 3 rows and 4 columns. Now before filling the numbers, we will identify the numbers. We have to find 12 prime numbers that is 6 pairs. Now how to figure out is let us start with the largest prime number because when uh, you take the larger numbers, there are fewer prime numbers. The frequency is less. So 97 is the largest okay, and we can pair it with 3. So 2 prime numbers we got. Then if you go to the 80s, 89 will be the prime number and 11 is paired with it. 89 then uh, 83 is prime okay, and 17 can be paired with it. Then in you have 79 which goes with 21, so not possible, 21 is not prime. 73 goes with 27 which is not prime. 71 goes with 29 which is another pair. Now coming to the 60s, 67 is prime, 33 is not prime, 61 uh, is prime and 39 is not prime. Then we need to look in the 50s, 59 is prime and 41 is prime. Then 53 is prime and 47 is prime. Okay, so these are the prime numbers that we will get. We have got the 6 pairs that is 12 prime numbers. Now next look at the conditions. So the first condition is saying that the sum of numbers placed in every row is equal. There are 6 pairs of 100 each, right? So total is 600. So in each row, the total will be 200 each. The sum of all the numbers placed in the first and third columns is equal to the sum of the numbers placed in the second and fourth columns. So this sum is equal to this sum. So that is equal to 300. Okay, so this sum is 300. The difference between the sum of numbers placed in the first and third columns is the minimum possible. Okay. The difference between these two columns is minimum possible. Now these two columns add up to 300. Okay. So ideally the average is 150. So uh, if we can get 149, 151, that would be the least possible. Right. We can get 150 also, 150 also, but let us think. Since all are odd numbers, right? All are odd numbers. So if you add three odd numbers, that will give an odd sum. Okay. So we cannot have 150, 150. We may have 149, 151, 147, 153, 145, 155, and so on. We need to see if this is possible. If this is not possible, in that case, this should be possible. If this is not possible, so basically we will try to get the least possible difference. That is done. We will come to it later. The diff largest number, since we are given a number over here, largest number is placed in the first row of the third column. First row and third column. So here we have 97. 97 is placed here. Then two of the numbers in the fourth column are prime numbers whose digits are reverse of each other. Reverse of each other, there are only two numbers. There is only one pair, 71 and 17. Two, the, two of the numbers in the fourth column. So this is the fourth column. Okay. And it is given that these numbers are not placed in the first row. So you will not place 71 or 17 here and it will be in these two rows. So we will have 71 or 17 and accordingly 17 or 71. So this is done. Then the last piece of information is saying that uh, the ratio of the sums of the numbers in the second column and the fourth column is 11 ratio 9. Now second and fourth column, the total is 300. So 20x is 300. So we get x as 15. So this will be 165 and 135. So the last column sum is 135. And this column sum is 165. Now we know two of the numbers here 17 and uh, 71 total is 88. 
So this will be 47. Okay. Now we have identified some of the numbers. We will knock them out. So we know 17 and 71, but not uh, distinctly. 97 and 47 are done. We need to place the remaining numbers. Now, what are the conditions available with us? That this total should be 165. Now, 300 is taken care of. So, this should be 165. These two should be minimum possible. Now, first of all, we will look at the third condition okay, to try to make this sum as close to 150. Okay. So, 97 we have already placed. If you place 3, right, that will make 100. 100 plus 53 is 153. Like one possibility is we play 97 plus 3 plus 53. So we will get 153. Okay. Let us see if we can one get 149 or 151. That is a even closer value. If you take 11 with 97, that will make it 108. And if you have 41 with it, that will make it 149. Okay. 149 is also possible. And then we have, uh, if you take any higher value, let us say 97 plus 29, which will be 126. We cannot go closer. Okay. So we see that this is the closest we can take, right? We can take this as 149 and another column as 151. So we will have this column as 149 and this column as 151. And what are the numbers over here? 11 and 41. So the two numbers that will come here is 11 and 41. Now, 11, 41 are done. Now, we need to make one column with 165 and another column with 151. How are we going to make this? We need to see the row sum also. Row sum is 200. So, this is 144. So, these two numbers should add to 56 because two numbers are added to 144. 56, uh, 11 and 41 cannot be used. So, 56, we can clearly say this is. 53 and 3. Okay. So we will get 3 and 53 in these two. Okay. And at the same time, we should also see this 151 thing. We figured out 150, uh, 149. We will take a figure out can we get 151 also? So if you take 89 plus 3, that is 92 plus 59, which gives us 151. Now it is easy to make combination because uh, we are left with fewer numbers. Okay. And this is turning out to be 151. So 89, 3 and 59. 89, 3, 59 will come in this column. So 3, 59 and 89. Okay. So we were taking 3 and 53. So we'll put 3 here and 53 here. So we're left with 59, 89. And uh, if you cross these numbers, 53 is also placed. We are left with 83 and 29. Okay, so 23 and 89 have to be placed. So we will get, uh, the total that we will get is uh, 59 plus 89, 150, 148 plus 3, 151. The total is matching. This is uh, 112 plus 53. This total is matching. This total is also matching. Now we need to make column wise 200. Okay. So what we will do is we will see uh, first of all here uh, there are two numbers 11 and 41. So let us start with that. So if you put 71 and 11, right, we will get 82. 71 11 is 82. We need to make 118 more. Okay. From these four numbers. So 89 and 29 will go here. So one possibility is 89 and 20. If instead we take 41 over here, then it will become 71 plus 41, that is 112. Okay. And 112 means that we need to make 88 more. And we have 59 and 29 available with us. Okay. So let us make the cases. So, first case is uh, one of the questions asks how many different arrangements are possible. So let us make the different arrangements. Uh, only these four values are fixed and these eight values need to be fixed. So let us make the first case 71 and 11. Let us write the case over here. If we take 71 and 11, that is 82. We need to make 89 and 29. Okay, so we will have 89 and 29 in that case. 
Now second possibility is if we take 71 and uh, along with this we take 41. So 112 we need to make uh, 88 in that case. So it will be 29 and 59. Okay. Let's take the third case. That is instead of 71 uh, we have uh, 17 over here. Can we make the combination with 17? If we have 17, 17 and 11 make it 28 and we need to make 172 out of it. So that means that uh, 83 and 89 can fill it. So if you make 17 and 11, we will have 83 and 89. If we make 17 and 41, we have made 58. We need to make 142. So 83 and 59 can still make it 142. Right. Now we will fill the uh, four cases for this also. Okay. So that is one of the cases. So we will write the other numbers over here. That is 59, 29, 41. And the fourth case that we have is here we get 71 and uh, sorry 17 here with 17 if we put 41 that is 58 and we need to put 83 and 59. Okay, so we are getting four different cases. Similarly, we will put uh, like if it is 17 here, this should be 71. This should be 11 here and if this is 83, this should be 29 and if this is 59, 89. So you can just take the total 118 plus 82, 200. And then one of the cases was this 71 and 17, 41 and 11. And then we have 29 and 83 and finally 59 and 89. And the fourth case is this one wherein we have uh, 71. Sorry, if 71 is placed, then it should have been 11, 17. And here we will have 41, and uh, then 83, and 59. So these are the four cases that we will get as the solution. So the first question is how many different arrangements are possible? So four such arrangements are possible. For how many rows is it possible to uniquely determine the all four numbers placed in it? So only in the first row we can uniquely determine the all four numbers. For how many columns is it possible to uniquely determine all three numbers placed in it? So in none of the columns we cannot find uh, the numbers uniquely. Which number is placed in the first column of the fourth row? Okay. First column, uh, it should be Instead of first column of the fourth row, it should be first row of the fourth column. Okay, because there is only uh, three rows, first row of the fourth column. So first row, fourth column, that is 47. If 89 is placed in the second row of the first column, which number is placed in the third column of the third row? Second row, 89 is placed in the second row of the first column. So 89 is placed here. So basically this is 89, right? If 89 is placed here, we need to find that what happens in the third column, third row. So we need to find this number. Okay. So if 89 is here, the red and green cases, this number is definitely going to be 41. So this was the solution to the set and the answers to the questions.